Hello! Today I've got a painting on the face for you. It's the Northern Lights, um, which is a winter theme, which is why I'm wearing this ridiculously thick jacket, which is actually way warmer than anything we'll ever need in the Netherlands. Like, I'm seriously sweating here, but yeah. It fitted with the look, so yep. <laughs> Either way, it's just a face paint look, and I just really felt like doing something that I haven't done before. Like, completely disregarding my facial features and just painting on there. Um, so yeah, I know Northern Lights are actually more of a winter thing, but I think when this comes online it's still just winter, I think. Not spring yet, I hope. Either way, I thought I'd just do it now because I felt like it. Um, so yeah, I had a little lot... Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy watching it. Um, let's get started. So for this tutorial I'm starting out with a bare face with only moisturizer and then I'm going to block out my eyebrows using the FX Wax by Crayolan. Um, applying it is really easy. I just basically smear it over top of my eyebrows. Uh, removing it is rather a lot harder actually. Um, I just use a lot of coconut oil and a washing cloth and a lot of scrubbing. Like a lot of scrubbing. It seriously takes me like 15 minutes to get it off per eyebrow. But yeah, it does do the job well. And then I just use some powder on top of it. Just regular normal face powder. Just to make sure it's not sticky anymore. And because I'm paranoid of things creasing, I'm also applying it on my eyelid and also below my eye. And again, this is just regular, normal makeup powder. I'll just list everything I've used uh, below in the description box as always. And then for the face paint, I'm using Cryolan as well. And I'm basically going to do the sky and then mountains and the rest of it is going to be black, so... Now keep in mind where you want stuff to be while, you know, starting to map out everything. First thing I'm going to do is the sky, so I'm just mapping out where the sky meets the mountains. And for this look I'm going to completely disregard my face, like, pretty much, I'm just going to treat my face like canvas. And just, you know, ignore that my facial features are even there. Which is something I don't often do, so, yeah. It's a nice thing to practice it. And I'm also mapping out here where I want the northern lights to be. And then just filling in everything that's not going to be northern lights or land with uh, blue for the sky. Um, also, if your skin is darker than mine, you could actually uh, use a white base. Also, let the face paint or your eye dry well before opening your eye again. Otherwise, it's going to smear. Um, but yeah, anyway, you could use a white base for underneath the northern lights so they're brighter. But I'm a ghost, so yeah, I didn't have to. And then I'm just using a blending brush here, a slightly damp blending brush to blend the top part of the northern lights, or what's going to be the northern lights. Just blend the blue there so that it's going to look like the northern lights just fade into the sky. And then I'm making northern lights pink. Um, I know northern lights are oftentimes green, but they do actually come in different colors. And also I wanted to practice with a green screen, and using green on my face would not be a very wise idea then. So yeah, I went for pink, uh, just filled it in, and then used the uh, washed blender brush then uh, to blend it out with the sky. Because obviously it needs to be, you know, yeah, just fading into the sky and not smeared on top of it. I also added some stars, um, just sort of, you know, like the night just starting. The sky is still sort of blue, but the stars already showing. I just think it looks pretty. And once that was done, I highlighted the northern lights. They're lights, so yeah, what I just did is look at photos and it seriously looked as if they were glowing. Uh, more in some parts than in other parts. So that's pretty much what I tried to copy. And I just, um, yeah, dabbed the white on and then used the finger to dab it out. And I did this in multiple layers because I kept wanting it to be brighter and brighter and brighter. So just pretty much continue doing this until you're happy with it. I think this was actually the process that took the longest. Um, I think this entire look took me about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. It didn't take excessively long. But I think blending the white was actually what took me the longest. And because it seems sort of stripey in photos, I also try to make the stripey effect by using the blue of the sky on top of the northern lights as well. And then went back to the white. This is seriously something. I, I think I added like five layers of white in the end. Um, do keep in mind which finger you've used for the white. Um, at this point I really barely had any clean fingers left. 
But yeah, then eventually I was happy with it and I started with the, um, yeah, sort of just with the length. Um, so yeah, I started out with pure black and also smeared a lot of it on my lips because, you know, I wanted to block those out as well. Um, if you have a fresh piercing in your ear like I do, do keep away from it because you don't want fresh or the, you don't want body paint in a fresh piercing. Yep. Yeah. And then I blended the body paint with some brown, black body paint with brown body, huh, body paint. Because I wanted sort of an ombre effect, um, it going from dark to paler towards the tops of the mountains. So pretty much I just kept smearing it with a brush until that effect was achieved. There really was no science behind it. And using the uh, blender brush again, I added some snow to the mountain tops. Pretty much to the entire skyline. And again, use the finger to dab that out so it would sort of blend into the darkness. Rather than just randomly <laughs> lay on top of it. And then because I love glitter, I also added some glitter. Um, the hair gel that I'm using here, I'm just putting it on a very cheap sponge that I don't plan on using for makeup ever again. And just carefully dabbing it onto my face and then I use the same makeup sponge to dab some just regular normal glitter on it. I think I got it at a gardening store last Christmas. But yeah, I just added some glitter to the uh, Northern Lights and also to the snow. And then decided that I actually wanted the uh, mountain peaks to stand out a little bit more. I wanted them to be a little bit more 3D. So I very carefully added a black outline. Do be careful with this because black, of course, is sort of hard to remove. So yeah, you do want it to be perfect at first try or at least, you know, good enough. And then to make my eyelashes stand out less, I painted them blue as well. You could use mascara for this, but I just used face paints. And then here is the final look. As I said at the beginning, I really enjoy doing this. I'm definitely going to practice more at painting landscapes on my face. Um, for now, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!